Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. The Small Carnivorous Dinosaurs. Mei Guan the Guanlong, ancestor of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Scientific name Guanlong. Period Late Jurassic. Fossil found in Xinjiang, China, Asia. Description Guanlong, a primitive Tyrannosaur, was about 4 to 5 meters long. It was named for its ornate crest and might have feathers covering its body. Living in late Jurassic, today's Xinjiang, China, Guanlong was one of the earliest ancestors of the Tyrannosaurus rex. These adorable creatures were about 4 to 5 meters long and covered with chicken-like fur and had none of the terrifying looks of the T-Rex. This guy named Mei Guan was a Guanlong. It looks like both a dinosaur and a bird. On Guanlong fossil, scientists haven't found any definite impressions of feathers. On the other hand, many primitive Tyrannosaurs were feathered, including the D-Long and Xiong Guanlong, so it's widely believed that the smaller Guanlong also had feathers. Of course, the feathers were primitive, like chick's fluff. <laughs> Mei Guan the Guanlong was unique among Tyrannosaurs because of his ornate crest, from which it got its name. In Chinese, Guan means crown. Its large crest reminds us of that of a rooster, but the two animals' crests are different. Roosters' crests are fleshy, while the Guanlongs were bony but thin and fragile, not strong enough to be used as weapons. The Guanlong fossils do not preserve the color of its crests. Still, Scientists speculate that the crest should have been colorful because they would be the most natural tool for attracting the opposite sex in the same way that modern birds have ornate crests for courtship. The striking features of the 12-meter-long Tyrannosaurus rex were its short forelimbs, which were only as long as an adult human's arm. Guanlong was different. Compared to T-Rex, its forelimbs were relatively much larger to its body. Its forelimbs were like a pair of large wings covered with beautiful feathers, and its forelimbs had three digits each, while T-Rex had two. Mei Guan the Guanlong had long hind legs and was probably a fast runner. The long tail kept its balance as it ran at top speed. Despite being small, Mei Guan was an excellent hunter. It had sharp teeth in its mouth and a strong lower jaw that can easily disembowel smaller prey. Its long forelimbs and strong hind legs could also hold its prey in place. Many suitable prey lived around it, including the tiny Lemusaurus and Yinlong. Catching them with its speed, Mei Guan would then subdue them with its sharp teeth and claws. Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaurs Museum. Join our writer, Ms. Yang Yang, and artist, Mr. Zhao Chuang, and start this fantasy journey.